In today's video, we are back in Grant RP, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about 24-7 stores and how you can make a ton of money from them. Now, if you already own a 24-7 store, you most likely already know what I'm going to talk about. But if you're a newer player or someone who's considering purchasing a 24-7 store and have never done it before and don't really know too much about it, I'm going to tell you a great way to make a ton of money off of it right now. So with that said, I hope you go on to enjoy the video. And of course, if you're not in this server yet, you're missing out. The link is down below in the description, check it out, and if you join the server, you'll get a free $25,000 by just clicking the link down below in the description. With that said, I hope you enjoy, and let's get into it. So pretty much what we're taking advantage of is solar panels. Now, if you guys don't really know too much about solar panels, you place them on the ground, a few hours later, they will charge up a battery. And you can then sell those batteries for about 11 to 12,000. And if you want to get rid of them quick, you can sell them for 10K, which is a pretty decent amount of money. And if you can get a bunch of them together, you can make a ton of money every single day. So solar panels are fairly popular. And the reason why people want batteries is so they could use them in their bunker. For me, I go through like at least 10 batteries a day. So they're in very high demand. So like I said, we're gonna be taking advantage of solar panels. Now I own a 24 seven store, which means I could purchase solar panels from my own store. As you can see, when I go to show products, I can buy them right here. Before you do that though, you want to go change the price for items. You want to click on that and you want to set it to the lowest markup, 50% off, because then you can get it at the cheapest price and obviously change it back afterwards. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go and buy myself 150 solar panels or as many as I can. You could even purchase all 200 that you will have in stock if you really wanted to buy as many as you possibly possibly can. Now I can hold 30 of them at a time, so I take 30 and then I put 30 in my truck buy another 30 and continue to do that until I have enough or as many as I want. The reason you need a 24 seven in order to do this strategy is because the price of solar panels are $1,000. When you buy one, the profits go back to you. So you actually get a profit of $890, which means it costs you $110 to purchase each solar panel. Everybody else will have to pay $1,000. So think about that for a second. These products are in high demand. Everybody needs them. So if you could sell them for a cheaper price, that's even better for you. So, get as many as you possibly can, and don't forget, you're only actually spending $110 on each one of them. So, like I said, buy them all up. So as you guys can now see, we have right around 150 solar panels. Don't forget, we only spent $110 on each of these panels, which is pretty damn great. So now it's time for us to go and sell them and make a pretty damn decent profit. So what we're gonna do is head on over to the beach market. Once you arrive at Beach Market, you want to go ahead and rent yourself a shop. Once you have that shop, you want to go and grab whatever vehicle you put all your solar panels in and grab as many as you can hold at once. Now what we want to do is figure out how much you want to sell each panel for and how many panels per stack that you actually put into the market. I would recommend selling five at a time because they're not too heavy. Most people can hold five solar panels at once, which is perfect. So now that we got that, let's figure out how much we should sell each panel for. When I walk around Marketplace or even when I talk to some people about this, they tend to sell solar panels if they have a 24-7 for about $500 to $600 per panel, which is a pretty good deal. That's still like 50 to 40% off, but I choose to sell it for a lot cheaper. It does mean less profit, but all of my stuff sells very, very quickly. And I just pretty much rinse and repeat this process and continue to make tons and tons of money over and over and over again. So I sell them at $440 per panel, totaling out to about $2,200 per stack of five. In this clip here, I was selling them at $2,500 per stack, and they were weren't selling too quickly. They did sell, but not a ton of them at once. So I came back later and lowered the prices. And once I did that, they all sold like hotcakes. So pretty much just divide all your solar panels into those amounts and then throw them into your market shop. The next thing you guys want to do is put an ad out because, you know, then people will know, hey, this guy's selling solar panels at this shop. Let's go take a look. And then boom, they'll show up and be like, damn, that's cheap. Let's grab them because that's a pretty hefty discount, almost 60% off. Right after you're done that, you want to come to this warehouse right away and order more products for your business. The reason why is because, you know, 
you're low on products because you just bought a ton of solar panels from your own 24 seven. So go and place an order for a bunch more products. You see, I need another 120. And if you place a big order, there's a higher chance a trucker will accept it because that means they will make more money. If you place an order for like 10, there's probably gonna be a very low chance of them actually taking the order. So honestly, do it when you need like 100 or more products because then that'll actually happen pretty damn quickly and you'll get your order very fast, which means you can rinse and repeat this even quicker. Once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. You could just vibe in the city and watch the profit roll on in. After a little while, I came back and I went to go and pick up all of the stuff that was at my shop because my shop did close. I just went AFK for a little while, came back and all of my shit was sold. I looked at my inventory, there was nothing that was returned. I literally sold every single item that I had in that shop. So I made a bunch of money. So what do you do right after this? You rinse and repeat and do the exact same thing over and over and over again. So later on that day, I decided to head right on back to my 24 seven again, all my products were restocked and I bought a bunch more solar panels. And what do you think I did after that? I headed straight over to Beach Market. I went over here and I talked to the guy that owns the beach market and lucky for me, the very first shop wasn't rented. I don't know how this was possible, but I managed to get literally the very first shop, the shop that most people will check right when they get to beach market. So that was pretty perfect for me. So I rented it for three hours and I started to fill it up with all of my solar panels. I then decided to just kind of wait around my shop and watch people buy all my solar panels and watch the money roll on in. This dude bought a ton of them and he just kept throwing them in his trunk and buying more and more, which was awesome. He was probably running a solar panel plantation. What he does is he pays someone $5,000 to place a solar panel down since each person can only have one place at a time. And then once he places that solar panel down, all the guy has to do is repair them every once in a while. And if he has 20 people doing that, all these solar panels at one spot, he repairs them all and after a couple of hours, he's got 20 batteries, which he could sell at the very minimum $10,000 and they will sell within like five minutes. I would buy them all up instantly if he was selling them at 10K a piece. Sells them at 12K a piece, that's a bucket load. So think about that. He's also making a ton of money. So if you buy the solar panels for a very cheap price, that means more profit for you as well. So I saw this dude buying a ton of them up. So I was like, all right, I gotta get back to my store, go grab some more panels and throw them back up in the shop because they're gonna run out pretty damn quick as you guys can see. Don't forget guys, my shop was literally just full like five minutes ago. This dude bought that many solar panels in five minutes. That made me a ton of money. So it's definitely worth it to do this if you own a 24 seven. If you don't own one, I would highly recommend buying one. It doesn't matter about the location. Obviously it does a bit because you know, if you have one in the city, you'll make a lot of money off of it just by having a 24 seven. But if you buy one up in Polito Bay or something, you would just do this and make a ton of money from it. Plus you'll get some additional profits. My 24 seven isn't the best. It only makes about $40,000 a day. But if I continue to do this, the total profits I'm gonna end up making are well over $100,000 a day. Plus, don't forget, if you're gonna be in the city a lot, might as well do the daily investments for like six hours, seven hours, and you'll make an additional $100,000, $125,000, or up to $150,000 each day. And you can see this guy here was literally selling batteries. I need batteries and I don't feel like doing the solar panel plantations, so I buy a bunch of batteries off of him for like $230,000. So if you're the type of person that would want to use the solar panels, you could see he made a bunch of money off of me in just a couple of seconds. He was just running around saying, who wants to buy batteries? And I was like, I'll take every single one you got. And then boom, he just made 230K just like that. When it comes down to it, you just got to take advantage of the opportunities. I'm going to try my best to throw in as many money making methods as I can for Grand RP because I know a lot of stuff costs a ton of money and you guys are just trying to make money. It is somewhat hard, but if you could find opportunities like this to make money, trust me, it's worth it in the end. And obviously you're going to have to build up your empire, I guess, of stuff you're going to own and stuff you'll do in the city to make a bunch of money. So trust me, this is one great way to do it. And I'm going to make more videos just like this in the future and if you guys did want to do the solar plantation thing you can make a ton of money off of that as well because if you could buy the solar panels for a much cheaper price that means you can offer people a little bit more money to plant solar panels and then you guys can make a ton more money in the end game for example if you can get 30 people to place down solar panels in a specific location and you repair all the solar panels by the end of the day you'll have 30 batteries and if you sell them at 12k a piece that's 360 thousand dollars every day but anyways 
As you guys can see, having a 24-7 is very profitable, and it's not only 24-7s, it's also gas stations. I obviously don't own a gas station right now because, you know, they're kind of expensive, but you could do the exact same thing with gas stations. You could buy canisters and repair kits from your own gas station and then sell them for very cheap prices at Beach Market, and people will buy them up. So it's all up to you guys how you guys want to do it. There is a ton of money that can be made in this server. All you guys got to do is take advantage of opportunities. So I'd recommend looking for a gas station or 24-7 because you can make a lot of money from it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully this helped you out if you were looking to make some money in Grand RP. And obviously you guys probably don't have $20 million just sitting in your bank account to buy a 24-7 store. So there's going to be a link down below in the description to help beginners make money in Grand RP. So check that out so then you guys can do this type of stuff in the future and just make yourself even more money. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.